In the beginning, there was an explosion. An explosion became a message, and the message became the media. The media is talking about the growth, about the creation of new jobs, that every citizen of the world will buy a car, that any nation of the world can call for public works to build the highways. Every citizen of the world needs a bomb that explodes 2,000 times per minute. Every citizen of this world needs a machine to drive her to working place every morning. She needs a car in order to get employed. She needs a car in order to get employed, to drive over the public roads to the job. She needs the job to pay off the credits. She needs the credits to buy her car. Without a car, there would be no roads. And without the roads, there would be no jobs. And without the jobs, there would be no credits. And without the credits, the winner would have no reason to go into the war. The winner has to go into the war, otherwise our nation will be left out without the energy. We need all the energy to sustain our democracy. In a democratic country, every citizen owns a bomb which explodes 2,000 times per minute. In the beginning, we killed all the bisons until they had nothing left to force them to work on the planes and when they were not working good enough we bought in the slaves and we produced a new race when we discovered it is possible to improve the efficiency of the work to motivate more this way we upgraded the slaves into the working class because only the working class can consume all what the machines are multiplying In the beginning, we let sheep cross their fields and eat them out all what they were growing. Having nothing left, they had to get themselves on the labor market so we could log them into small dark factories filled up with cotton from the distant lands. To release their creative potentials, we upgraded them into free individuals because only free individuals can move around to catch the jobs. Only free individuals are cheap enough to find a job at the same continent we just moved them to. In the beginning there was an explosion and the mountain of the coal had to walk away from where they were found. In the beginning there was an explosion and the rivers of the gasoline directed from all around the world towards the happy few were to start feeding the machines in which the bomb explodes 2,000 times per minute. In the beginning there was the war and after the war there were public works. The workers were building the roads and as soon as the roads were ready there was the tin lizzie. The workers could buy their own car and become free individuals riding the roads, moving their working force. In the beginning, there was an explosion. And at the end, there was a general purpose computing device. Because if the bomb can come out of the atom, 
then all the society can organize around the microchip. One button to start the bomb, one chip to control the society. Every citizen has a one button device, one button phone, and one button camera. Every citizen holds a mouse. Every citizen holds the keyboard and the wheel to organize own life, to catch the pleasure of keeping the peace, to consume fast enough to still get employed. Every citizen has to have a job. Every job is to hold one button. One button will turn off all the lights and one button will turn on the World Data Bank. There will be one button device which will consume all the energy. There will be only one button on the world which will switch all the internet on and off. One big democratic world there will always have to be a permanent energy flow to sustain our data. There will be no data without the energy. All data must be digital. All data must be digitized. Every tool needs to get its own accumulator. Every tool needs a chip implant. Every tool must serve us as a general purpose computing device. A general purpose computing device will calculate us all the way until our seeking will reach immortality. The seeking will live forever. The seeking will get the heart transplant. The seeking will get the skin transplant. The seeking will get the chip implant. The seeking will get new kidneys from the third world. The seeking will retire to conserve himself in the geostationary satellite motel. And from there, he will contemplate a new world order through all the control cameras of the world shopping center. The Sea King will clone itself into the future. The Sea King will transcend through the multi platform cinemas. The Sea King will go on a program us through the high definition television. The Sea King will give us more music and more MP3. The Sea King will deliver us Woodstock every here and there. The Sea King will make us believe that by singing we can stop the war he already lost. The sea king will make us believe he will win the war which forbid us to sing. Genetically redesigned king, the king who uncovered the secret of the living universe riding around with a car which needs a bomb inside to explode 2,000 times per minute. In the beginning, there was a general computing device and the central library with the central intelligence service. Day by day, the geometry of the central processor is emanating from the sky down into the world of disorder. One company is to produce one processor and one million companies are to pack the one processor. Five companies are to make the electronic memory and one million companies are to pack the Holy Trinity and attach it the accumulators of the different size. Every new device has another size of battery, but same processor to run them all. The future unemployed of Europe. Only the unemployed can see it only needs one model of the accumulator to run just any electric device. The future unemployed of Europe can be creative, inventing how to save. Employed ones have to consume at accelerated rate. Otherwise, the economy they practice will gonna fall apart. Only the unemployed want to charge their batteries by their hands. Only the unemployed want to charge their batteries by biking around. The world of unemployed is based on investment of personal energy against the private ownership of the bomb that explodes 2,000 times per minute.
Only the unemployed people have the time to rethink and discuss the troubles imposed by the outdated laws. The outdated laws have to be reconstructed in a permanent discussion. Under the permanent construction, there is no need to change them forever or only here and there. The new laws can be in a constant research as close to organic development as possible. Public standards are inviting just anybody to better and refine them. The only agreement fixed is the interface which serves as a bridge from the past into the future. We can define the surface of connection and the form, while the content can be under permanent construction. Every creative mind can work from where the form left off. The basic building blocks are getting closer to access. The basic building blocks are free to vary, exchange and interchange. Every part of a device can be upgraded and recycled without throwing away the rest. The future unemployed can only own the territory their bodies can occupy. They share the same rights on all the natural resources. They can use a whole earth as a generator with an endless capacity. They can use the magnetic lines that travel from one pole to another like the tram lines. They can charge their flying carpets with the friction of rotating hemisphere they fly through. The most lightweight is the life of unemployed. They owe no trash or ballast. They charge their accumulators by their bioenergy, use less and less. They consume less and less products which are not produced by themselves. The main products of the future unemployed are emotional atmospheres, inspiring environments, attentive dialogue situations, symposia that can last more but three days. Only the unemployed can really work at home only the unemployed can raise and educate their kids by their own. Only the unemployed can really travel open eyes and stay in spaces until they really learn about specifics and translations. <laughs> Only the unemployed can take the time to heal themselves and find disease as an inspiring force of change. Only the unemployed can loudly say with who pays them for what secret reason. The companies of unemployed cannot be based on abuse of their customers. They can share knowledge without copyrights. They can make mistakes. They can be proud as well when they can fail. They can learn out of small and big mistakes. They can self-correct. They can re-educate themselves for any self-employment they desire for. Only the unemployed can serve the real world and not just the virtual one. They can travel without being the tourists from one unemployment to another. European electric car, when truly reaching the size of the largest developed market on the planet, Europe must reshape the means of transportation the European electric car will change the architecture of the roads, hotels, motels, cities, villages and towns. The European electric car will change the way and style of life. It will create new complex exchange of knowledge. It will provide less jobs and more creative work. Instead of physical public works, it will retrace the roads into public thinking centers. The intelligence of Europe has to invent the new public rituals before the misery hits and establishes itself by force. The European electric car will redirect the decay of the industrial world. It will stop the agony of Muslim culture and will inspire China not to grow back towards the dirty industries of the First World War, the electricity of New Europe is generated by the thoughts of change.